That's what got him uh, beat up and picked apart against Saint. Like Ryan wasn't on on that top level. He wasn't. How they say like the four kings? Like when they speak of like the four kings, all of them four kings was like special, great fighters. And I I don't think Ryan was on that kind of level. Like I didn't think Ryan was that that good. So um, I ain't taking no credit away from Tank. Tank did what he's supposed to do, but. Ryan just wasn't wasn't that like he ain't know his distance. He was looking for one left hook the whole entire fight. Um, he threw a, a left hook three times in a row and got clipped. Um, anybody know that when you fight a tank, you can't do something three times in a row because um, his brain was like a computer. He picks up on it. It's just levels to this, and um, it's like certain fighters they they good and they've been around boxing for a long time, but then it's like a elite level. Where you um where, where you know what you're doing and you understand what you're doing and you got the rings IQ and the ring smarts and Ryan just didn't have none of that like he went in there fighting with heart instead of using his brain. I think he made a lot of mistakes. I think he was tall for no reason. Um, he don't understand distance. He don't understand things that could have helped him in the fight. Um, I'm not. I, I can't blame his coach. I think it's more so like the training that he had since a little kid. Um. If he uses height, it probably been more so a better fight, but he don't use his range. Like he don't use his reach. He like to give it away and, and make things a war. And um that's what got him uh beat up and picked apart against Saint. Yeah. 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 No, no, listen. Okay. Listen, yeah, let me let good. me just tell you something. That type of shot is a Hard. He'd rather get hit on the chin. Yeah, I would rather. Uh, you know, I, I know. And you did, and you got up. To hit that rip part at all, Ryan? Yeah, yeah. I knew it. I didn't want to continue. Now, what I took away from this clip, what the first thing that I took away from it, probably, nobody else probably even noticed it, but this is just me, is that Ryan Garcia ain't listening to this fucking guy, bro. He don't. He don't. He ain't really listening to this dude like that. You know what I'm saying? He ain't, he ain't listening to Joe Goosen like that, bro. Joe Goosen just there for show. That's what I got out of this little clip, is that Joe Goosen really was just there for show. That's what I got from it. Especially based off some of the things that he said as well. Yeah. So that's the, some of the latest news in boxing that this clip has been released that Ryan Garcia, they knew that they, he had an injury. Pretty much Ryan Garcia had an injury going into this fight with Tank Davis, man. You know what I'm saying? He had a rib injury going into the fight. And Tank kind of knew to hit him right in that exact spot, too. He like, he hit him in the exact spot. Seven, eight, nine, ten. He hit him in the exact Three, spot. Right. Four. He hit him right where he was supposed to hit him. You know what I'm saying? Right where he's supposed to hit him. <laughs> Oh man, this shit is hilarious. Yeah, Goosen said he had to collaborate with Ryan. Yeah, man. He had, Ryan needs a trainer that he's gonna fucking listen to, bro. That's gonna make his ass listen. Ryan Garcia ain't listening to Joe. He's just not listening to Joe. He don't. I don't think he really. You know, Ryan Garcia needs. He's one of those dudes that needs to have a trainer that's gonna tell him it's my way or the fucking highway. And maybe Eddie Reynoso was that guy. And Ryan. Packed his bags and left because he wanted to go his way. Then he went back to Joe Goosen. Joe Goosen is a lenient, laid-back guy. They probably let Ryan run the camp and shit. He said they were struggling to get Ryan to do things. See? Crazy, man. Crazy.